This exercise is called the Romanian deadlift. It's very similar to a straight leg deadlift, but with a little bit more knee bend. So it's also called an RDL very commonly. Here's what it looks like. You're just going to put your feet about hip width apart, ground through your feet, engage your core, hinge from your hips with a slight knee bend and go down just to kind of until you feel that strain on your hamstrings and then come back up. So a couple more times from the front like this. And one more. And here's it from the side. So Romanian deadlift or RDL. You have a little bit of knee bend. Hinging from the hips. So the difference between that, this is a straight leg deadlift, almost no knee bend, a lot more hamstring. And that one's fine too, but I thought this one was gonna be a little bit more appropriate to teach. In case you have limited hamstring mobility. All right, common errors here is rounding at the back. So if you're looking at what that looks like from the side view, instead of hinging from your hips and using your hamstrings for that stretch down, you go too far and you start to round your back. So I want you to notice all the movement from here comes from my hips, my hamstrings. That's about the end of my hamstring range of motion unless I straighten my legs and I can go just a little bit farther. Anything past here is bending from the back and that's what we want to avoid. So whenever you're doing this, anchor those shoulder blades down, keep the core in tight and think straight back. In line with that one is just rounding your shoulders in general. So again, anchor those shoulder blades back down so that when you're holding weight in front of you, you're not rounding your shoulders but you're carrying that weight nice and strong, okay? Now, the next error is going to be not having equal weight distribution between the front and the back of your foot. So when you're going down, you're kind of losing your balance and your toes are coming up. We don't want that. Just nice, equal weight distribution. And then the last error is gonna be locking your knees. You don't wanna lock your knees on this one. So this is what it looks like done incorrectly. My knees are locked. I'm going straight down, straight up. You want a little bit of that knee bend, okay? So one more time, do not lock or hyperextend your knees on this. All right, to make this one easier, you just decrease the range of motion. Don't go down as far, don't use weights. If you need to use a hand for support, you can, um, like a hand on the sink or a hand on the chair. But my guess is because it's a wider base of support, you probably don't really need additional balance support for this one, especially if you're just kind of going slightly down and slightly up with this RDL. Let's talk about how to make it harder. You can use a long band if you have one of those. So you wrap it around your hands and you step on it. Again, feet about hip width apart. I'll back up so you can see my feet. And you're just going to slowly go down and grab it, grab it tight and pull up. Down, up. Here's the side view. Down. So you'll notice that I do straighten my knees at the top, but I don't lock them at the top. Okay. Now let's do weights. So for the weights, you really wanna keep them as close to your legs, as close to your body as possible. So we're going down like this and up. You don't wanna hold them out in front of you. Straight down, straight up. Now. From the side view, watch that I'm anchoring my shoulders down. Up. Up. 
Another error is that people might want to strain their arms and hold them out in front of you. Don't do that. That really puts a lot of pressure on that low back. Okay. The other way that you can do this is with a bar. And so you may have heard of a deadlift before. You would just get your bar. You can have weights on the side. And you start, pick the bar up. It's more of a deadlift. So I'm going to do that again. So from the ground up is the deadlift part. We're not really covering that right now. This is the RDL part. So you're just going down, keeping that bar really close to your shins and up, down, up, inhale, exhale. Here's the side view. Okay, going down again. So that's how you make the RDL harder with weights. There's a couple other variations that I wanna show you here to make them even more challenging. So the first is similar to that Bulgarian split squat. You'll need a chair, preferably a bench, that's not gonna move on you, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this chair. I'll get this out of my way. You could be using dumbbells. So you put one foot back up on the chair. Like that. And you would go straight down. And up. Down. So you're lengthening that hamstring and up. I'll show you on this one too, in case you want to see that side. Down. Again, this movement is an eccentric contraction on the way down, a lengthening contraction from the hamstring. You're not just bobbing for apples here with your back. And you can have weights right here in your hands to add some really nice resistance. Another modification that you might see that's actually going to be a little bit easier is a kickstand leg. So I will grab weights for this one. So you might see like a lunge type position, but then you're just going down and up. You can keep those weights even a little bit farther back, not necessarily right in front of the shin. That. Here's the side view. So just a kickstand leg. Down. Up. The last modification of this RDL is a single leg RDL. Probably the hardest. And for the single leg RDL, you actually lift up your back leg. And you're just going down and up. Really nice balance challenge. Down. So anytime you see RDL on one of our workouts, you can choose which intensity you want and just mix it up. I like to show you these modifications solely so that you can mix up your routine and get less bored with your strength training. So you see here, there's some knee bend. It's definitely not straight. It's not hyperextended. I'm gonna show you from the side on this leg too. So single leg RDL right there. Keeping that core tight, back flat, shoulder blades engaged in the back. Okay, I hope that that helps you understand a little bit more about the Romanian deadlift and all of the modifications available. If you have any questions, let me know.